One year ago, Washington State's legal recreational cannabis market opened for business with just a few stores. Today, there are about 160 weed shops in the state, and sales and tax revenues are exceeding expectations. Furthermore, Washington's medical and recreational laws recently had an overhaul that appears good for cannabis companies and perhaps not so good for medical pot patients. In its first year, the Washington cannabis industry raked in more than $250 million and brought the state about $70 million in tax revenue. In Colorado's first year of cannabis sales, the state made about $44 million. Despite all of this cannabis money, businesses say the high taxes in Washington have meant little return on their investments. Currently, pot companies have to endure a three-tier tax system, paying 25% each time that the product moves from growers to processors to retailers. James Lathrop, owner of Cannabis City in Seattle, said this means he's basically working for free. However, recently approved state laws will now alter the fledgling market, which means higher profits for cannabis companies. On July 30th, Washington Governor Jay Inslee signed a bill eliminating the three-tier tax structure, replacing it with a single 37% excise tax. The bill also directs the state to share cannabis revenue with cities and counties that allow pop businesses, and adopts a more flexible zoning policy for where shops can be located. Governor Inslee signed another bill earlier this year overhauling the medical cannabis market. The new law removes medical cannabis collectives, unless they are granted a license by the state allows patients to possess three times the amount of cannabis allowed for recreational use, and lets recreational dispensaries obtain authorization to sell to patients. Some have criticized the change, saying patients will have to pay more for their medicine, while having more difficult access in a market where regulators are already overburdened. As it becomes more obvious that legalized cannabis isn't a detriment to society, but can in fact be beneficial, more states are considering similar reform. During a recent visit to Seattle, David Zuckerman, a Vermont state senator, pointed out that the sky didn't fall in Colorado. The tidal wave hasn't hit Seattle. They're showing us that this can be done.